Hello and welcome to Getting Candid with me, your girl Helen. You're joining me from Best Western Plus Hotel in Lusaka. Also a reminder for you guys, 1st October, the African Food Festival is on at the Showgrounds Main Arena. Different countries showcasing their food that you can buy and eat and enjoy and drink their drinks and also some fashion. So I hope to see you guys right there. Now, today I'm chatting with an actress from Pali who to most of you is known as Monde. But today we want to know a little more of Jemima. Join me on the other side as I chat with Jemima. Welcome back. So I mentioned that I'll be chatting with a um, Pali actress known to most of you as Monde, <laughs> Jemima. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming. I'm sure a lot of people just call you Monde, Monde. I'm even used to that. Yeah? They don't call me by my name actually. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. If somebody calls you Jemima, you know it's somebody who really, really knows you. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> How has it been though, the, the um, Pali journey? Um, it's been, it's been okay. Yeah? Yeah, it gets tough and it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when we started, um, I, don't, I don't know if you know, we started in Chilanga. We were camping yes, there. Yes. I came there once. Oh, you came? <laughs> yes, I came there once. Yeah, we were camping there for season one, and it was amazing. We got to know each other, understand each other, and mm. get used to each other. So we just built a family. Yeah. yeah so. OK. Now, um, I can imagine how camping can be, but let me not get in detail of that. I just want to understand, firstly, your background. Were you born and bred in Lusaka? Yes. OK, Lusaka <laughs> people. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Acting, was it something that started young or...? Um, to be very honest with you, mm -hmm. I, I didn't know I could act. I, I didn't know it was in me. Mm -hmm. So, um, there's a time I was with my friend. She was going for the same acting and she was like, ah, come with us and whatnot. So I followed them and their director said, would you like to try? And I was like, no. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm, okay, I'm shy. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so they said, um, can you try? I said, no, I'm not comfortable. You know, so he just said, no, just give it a try. And he insisted, and the next day I went, I gave it a try, and they liked it. You know, it's that thing where you, you don't know you can do it. Yeah. And then someone says, oh, wow, you're good at this. And I was like, oh, okay. So that's how I started. What was that you were auditioning for? You were I didn't even audition. Okay, I, they just gave me... They, they gave you a character. Yeah, they just gave me. And, okay. <laughs> and I, I, I did it. That was Pam Dada with Movie TV. Okay. Yeah, so we did that for, I think, almost a year. And then after that, when we were just done with, uh, with that series, um, I got a call from Frank Sibuku. And then he was like, um... I, I, watch, I used to watch parts, not, not everything of da, da, da but I would watch some, some episodes and whatnot, and I think you, you're good. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, okay. So he asked me to go to movie TV. I went there. Yeah, and then he told me we want to try something. That was Lake Hill for movie TV as well. Okay. So, yeah, we tried it. We were um, shooting it in Siavonga at Freshview Homes. Mm -hmm. So we'd go there, maybe stay for a week or two, and then come back for a week, and like that. Mm -hmm. So when we finished that one, we went to Njila, and after Njila, we did Mfuti, and mm -hmm. now Mpali. Nice. Yeah. Your family, uh, what kind of family do you come from? Did you, uh, were, uh, you grew up with, your, with both parents? Um, I actually grew up with my grandmother. Okay. Um, my father died when my mother was seven months pregnant with me. Oh. Okay. So, um, my mom was not staying with us. Mm -hmm. So my grandmother took care of me and my my siblings and you know cousins, my mom's sisters and brothers. It was just a big family. Yeah. So, um, yeah, she raised me. My uncle, my 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 mom's brother. Mm -hmm. um, He's a father to me, actually. I would, yeah. I would call him that because from the time that I was born, he's the one who did everything for me, like from the nappies, clothes, and everything, education, till college, mm -hmm. everything, yeah. So I, yeah. What did you study? 
I started journalism. Oh, nice. <laughs> Where? Yeah. In Nairobi. Look, me getting interested because I thought you were like a fellow journalist. <laughs> yeah, have you ever practiced uh, journalism? Well, um, when, I, when I finished, I did my attachments with um, the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was done, two months after I was done, I came back. Mm -hmm. When I got here, I, you know how it is, you start applying and whatnot, yeah. you promised and this and that. So I started doing other things, like um, started doing some research mm. with Esami. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did some research with them for some time. And then um, I started working um, at a certain company. Mm -hmm. I worked for like, I think one year. That's how I, get, I, I found myself in the, in the movie industry. Okay, uh, and uh, you, when you, um, um, uh, it's, I'm sure it was pretty easy for you to just say, okay, let me go in the movie industry because you're already independent. What, did your family say anything? Did they have anything to say? Were they <laughs> negative or it was all? They didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? I'm thinking, oh, you were independent, so. Oh, they didn't. Yeah. Mostly, you know, um, I was raised in a, you know, a Christian, you know, a Christian home where we were told, this is not right, this, you know how it is, because mm -hmm. even just for me to, to be able to wear jeans and short things, was a I think I started um, when I was, what, in grade 10, 11? Mm -hmm. They couldn't allow me, you know that thing where you're not supposed to expose your legs, you're not supposed, <laughs> so I grew up in that, you know, that kind of environment where we were told a lot of this is wrong this is yeah yeah so when i told them that um i'm trying out this at first it was so hard they didn't even support me they just were just looking at me you know like i let her do what she wants you've to made do. a decision yeah like let her do it like even if i'm doing it they're not happy about it but mm -hmm. after some time after i did uh, with lake hill and pam dada that was just when i did njila you know, Zambezi Magic came on board and it was, yeah. you know, at least we were making some money. Because, you know, um, Zam uh, the... Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's um, yes, you get paid, but it's, it's not really... Like, you can't really make it your yeah. career because you can't really, it yeah. can't sustain mm -hmm. you. Yeah. So, it was like that. So they said, no, you're not even getting much, you know, this and that. I was like, it's going to grow. Mm -hmm. So when Zambezi Magic came on board and we they started with Jela, started making some good money and whatnot, and they were like, oh, okay. They started, you know, paying attention and, yeah, started to appreciate what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And when I did, we started Pali, they actually gave me all the support. Nice. Like, all the support, like, they just... They're happy yeah, for they're you. They're happy for proud, me. Very obviously. happy and proud. Yeah. Yeah. But my mom believed in me from the word go. Like okay. when I just told her, I want to try this. She was like, okay, because she she knows me. She understands the person that I am. So if I tell her I'm going to do this and that, she she just supports me and believes that I'm not going to disappoint her. Yeah. So yeah. She. Now uh, I'm thinking, seeing that you grew up in a home that was strict on um, on the Christian beliefs. Yeah. I saw in your profile someone saying model. Well, I did that in college. <laughs> how, how did you manage to prove that? Actually, what happened was um, a friend of mine, one of my friends in mm. college, um, she just submitted my name. Like, she didn't ask me, she just told me, um, you know, in the evening after classes, there'll be, you know, rehearsals of something like that you need to go to this and this class you meet up with these people and I was like what is it about just go and I went there and I couldn't get out <laughs> stayed there and then that's how I, 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 I tried it I just I think I did it once okay and I just <laughs> got out because it's not something that I really it wasn't wanted. for you yeah yeah Okay, so now, um, now let's fast forward. You you are doing this now. It's a profession. It's your job, and I'm glad that, like you said, it wasn't so easy. Especially just the whole entertainment industry yeah. for somebody to take it like a full time mm -hmm. job because mm -hmm. of money. But now you're able to keep it, and I believe this is like your full time job right it now. It is. It is. And it's able to sustain you. Yes. Nice. Uh, 
when you guys were camping in Shilanga, staying in the same house, how was it? Genuinely. Wow. Different personalities, different backgrounds come together. Um, okay, the thing is that I'm a kind of a person who loves a big family. Mm -hmm. So, like, um, growing up, that's how it was. Like, where you are maybe 12, 13 people in a house. Yeah. You know, that thing where you eat together, you, you play, and you just, you're just together. You, you have everything. You do a lot of things together. You, that bond. Mm -hmm. So I, it became um, very important for me. So when we were camping, I enjoyed it. Because I felt at home. Yeah. I just, I just had to fit in. It wasn't hard for me. It wasn't that thing of, no, I'm missing home and whatnot. Sometimes even when it's time to go home, I'll just say, ah, I'm going to stay. <laughs> you know, like I'm just surrounded by people that I've gotten used to. You know, we've created a bond, a, a great friendship. It's a, it's, it's a family. Yeah. So it wasn't hard. It was very easy for me. Your role in Pali. And your role in footy, I'll talk about footy because I personally watched it a lot. I watched it and I was really amazed because I, Njila, I watched, but I didn't watch it as much. But with footy, I watched all the episodes. Your acting, I should say, was top notch. Thank you. And the house we used to follow. But then your roles were totally different from Monday, <laughs> like us. In, in footy, you were like literally crying the whole, throughout. Throughout. Yeah. Which one is your favorite role? Uh, the one in footy. You loved footy. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Though um, with um, yeah with Mpali also I love it, mm -hmm. but um, I love I love um, roles that are challenging. Yeah. You know something that looks so hard. Like I love to be challenged. So when I'm given a role like that one where I had to be beaten by my husband all the time, mistreated, mm. abused and whatnot, and it was, it was making me become a strong character yeah. that I am today. And I really, really appreciate, you know, roles that are challenging. Mm -hmm. I don't think Monday is not challenging. Like, Monday is crazy. Monday, Monday has... <laughs> I think you can even say split personality. Yeah. yeah sometimes yeah, she's scary. Yeah, she yeah, looks so yeah. evil. <laughs> then sometimes she's, when she's a mother. Are you a mother in real life? No. But you know, when she's, it's like you really got that character so well that when you're being a mother to Kefas and when you guys, the only time when people want to cry when watching Pali, mostly it's when you and Kefas. And are, he makes me cry a lot. You know, there are times that we're yeah. doing a scene together, um, he's supposed to cry. And I should just maybe be there for him. And I'm not supposed to cry. Yeah. But because of, you know, how you cry and do things, you just find yourself crying. I, now that, that, that's real. So the emotions are real. Yeah. And they, that's why we catch up. Even us, like you're watching, you're like the house is, everyone <laughs> is like mute. You know that everyone is feeling some type mm -hmm, of way. Yeah. I, I wanted to ask how you get to do that, but then obviously it explains. It means you and Kefas have a proper connection. Um, we have a proper connection. And you know, sometimes, not sometimes, all the time, mm -hmm. like when you're, you're given a role, you're supposed to blend in. If you want to be Jemima and you want to be Monda, you can't. Yeah. You have to be either you're Jemima, you do the Jemima thing, uh, or maybe you're Monday. Mm -hmm. So I need to blend in. I need to understand what the scene is about. Yeah. If it requires me to cry, I need to be connected. I need to feel it. It has to come from within. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the only way it's going to look real. That's the only way it's going to be. Have you, from the time you started acting, have you ever struggled to cry and say it like? Sometimes. You know, there are times that I don't want to cry. Because <laughs> most of the time, you know, guys will be like, the, the camera guys will be like, Jemima, just, just think of maybe a breakup. Think of um, someone that died and cry. I can't. Yeah. Thinking about anything that hurt me before and whatnot can't make me cry. Mm -hmm. But when I just put myself in that position, in that situation, I become that person. Yeah. That's the only time I cry because I feel it. Mm -hmm. I, I make it part of me. 
Nice. I like that because Monday. Any similarities between Monday and Jemima? Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, Jemima is like a naturally um, I'm shy. Monday yeah, is not shy. Monday <laughs> is not shy. Yeah. She's just something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's just something else. So there's yeah, no. There's, There's nothing. <laughs> There's nothing. I think there is. Are you dating? Yes. Do we know the Z no, no, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to talk much about that. <laughs> Before I even got the message, you're already saying no. I'm not no. going to talk much about that, but yes, I'm dating. Okay, yeah. okay. Somebody that you've been seeing for a long time? No. Uh huh? Uh, no. So it's like you're glowing. <laughs> It's fresh love. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to give me a little bit of something. Give me something. Okay. Um. It's I. I, I wouldn't say it's someone you you know or don't know. Mm -hmm. But uh, is in the industry. No. Okay. But he understands your industry. Understands my industry. Appreciates. You know, it's it's that thing where you meet someone. Mm -hmm. They know what you do. Mm -hmm. They're coming into your life not to stop you from doing what you do, but they have to accept you with what you do. Yeah. Accept you as who you are. Yeah, an artist, and that's that's just how it is. You're mm -hmm. not going to come in my life and tell me, no, you're, you're supposed to stop acting yeah. and whatnot, and no. So he's he understands what I do, he supports and appreciates. Uh, I like that you said uh, somebody has to stop you because I've seen, uh, I've heard of stories, I've seen of the stories of uh, artists, either musicians or actors that have to stop because they've met this person mm -hmm. who says, no, if I have I to stay yeah. with you, if I have to marry mm -hmm. you, I, you have to stop this. Yeah. So I'm glad that you've mentioned that because I mean, it's a job. You it's can't job. just tell somebody to. It. I'm not going to, to tell you to stop your job yeah. because I probably don't like your profession now. Yeah. I have to accept you with whatever you do. Yeah. Will you share with us your worst? Have you ever been heartbroken before? <laughs> yes. Will you share? What happened? Would you? Sh uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Helen, I can see where you're going. You're not going there. <laughs> no. I've been heartbroken before, yes. Yeah. But I don't want to get into details. Yeah. yeah. But I have. Okay. Anyway, she's not going to tell us anything <laughs> about. But uh, all the best to you, you with so your much. work, your love life. I'm just glad that you came through and we got to have this chat. Thank you so much for having me. Are we seeing you in other productions apart from Pali? Right now? Um, I'm not sure. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. But you, what, what's, what's one role that you would like to play that you haven't done before? <laughs> um, what haven't I done before? Um. <laughs> I've, um, you, what do you wish to do? If you went to Hollywood today, a criminal? Huh? A criminal? You would like to play a criminal? Yeah. Cool, nice, nice. Who is your closest friend on set? Um, closest, 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 my guru. <laughs> You're closer to my guru. Yeah. Okay, nice, <laughs> nice. Okay, Monday, Jemima, thank you so much for coming <laughs> and making time. Thank you so much for having me. All right. All right, guys, I hope you've gotten to know her a little more. One thing I wanted to do, are you a foodie? Do you like events? Do you like food? Yeah. I want to invite you for an event. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you'll show up. I will. This uh, is African Food Festival, mm -hmm. 1st October, Showgrounds Main Arena. Okay. I hope you can come through. I will. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, guys, uh, remember African Food Festival is on 1st October, uh, Main Arena Showgrounds. I hope you guys can come. I mean, there's food. If you like food, <laughs> you like entertainment, you can come with your friends or your family. There is food from Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa, Tanzania, Kenya. So, I mean, I want to try out everything apart from the, our Zambian food, which we know <laughs> very, very well. So, thank you so much and bye-bye.